Hello viewers, my name is Peter and today I'm going to show you how you can integrate Easy Worship into Switcher Studio. If you are like me, who uh, live stream your church program or your pastor's sermon, uh, you might have issues with getting the scripture into Easy Worship, I mean getting the scripture into Switcher Studio or getting lyrics when choir are singing into Switcher Studio. You're going to need three or four devices, let me say, minimum of four devices. Number one, you're going to need your iPad for your switcher. Number two, you're going to need the camera that is, is streaming into the switcher. Then number three, you're going to need another device which you are going to do a screencast into your switcher. And the fourth device can be uh, your desktop or your laptop, which advisably somebody need to run the easy worship for you. So quickly, let's look at the setup. So the first thing is you going to download an app, which is called Easy Worship Remote. The Easy Worship Remote, you're going to download it on your one of your iPhone, then you're going to come to your desktop when you open your easy worship so what you need to do is you click on you click on edit and you go to option then from option you go to advance in the advanced setting you want to make sure you enable enable remote control then you okay it so here you come to under remote this is by default is going to be off you're going to turn it on and you open the easy worship app and make sure that you pair the phone and the easy worship and that is all you need to do to set this up then the next thing is you're going to go into the phone. So with the phone, what you need to do is you're going to swap up and do. So when I hold it down, it's going to give me options of screen recording. You're going to tap switcher, switcher cast. So what it does is remotely, the phone is connected to the switcher studio via uh, screencast so now to bring the switcher studio I mean to bring the easy worship into the phone because already the phone is streamed into the switcher studio so I'm gonna go into the app easy worship app so easy worship app remote because I have set it up already it will automatically show so now okay so to rotate so to rotate the the image you click on the the camera icon at the top and you can select various orientation but now we're just going to go to the landscape so now to do multi view i can click on the multi view and click on this so now in the real time so I'm just going to set this phone down. There's nothing the phone is just doing in my hand. The phone is not doing anything at the moment than just is a means of sending the signal from uh, Easy Worship into, into the Switcher Studio. So as it is, I'm just going to put it down. There's nothing I need to do with this one. So let's say probably maybe the preacher is preaching and call a scripture Genesis 1 6 Genesis 1 6 is displayed on the screen so in the real time and even on songs oh hail the power of Jesus maybe that is the song the choir is trying to sing and you can you can easily double click on that verses by verses you can always double click on each verses they are singing and it will automatically live stream it into your switcher 
studio and if you want to do like a different uh if you want to do like a different multi view you can go to this option and put the scripture in a slant form just like that then another thing i i think we should be able to do so let's say if i solo this so that is it so if, if you have presentation if you have pictures that you are displaying simultaneously as the message is going on you can always send it to your switcher in a real time it's going to go live so that is going to be the end of the tutorial today and i hope this is going to help you to to up your church live streaming game up uh, a notch and thanks for watching and i'll see you on the other